All right, so as we close out 2022, we're seeing fewer murders on Houston streets. The Houston Police Department says we are on pace right now to come in about 10% lower than last year. But yet many families are still struggling. The death of their loved one remains unsolved. And it comes at a time when the department is seeing a higher number of cases being solved, including one recent high profile arrest. And as KPRC2 investigates, Mario Diaz found out that is not sitting well for some. My condolences to the family and my heart goes out to them because their child was murdered. But uh, to HPD, to everyone else, who, who, who I'm trying to figure out who murdered my son. Marnita Hinton needs justice. Two years after her son, Christopher Mena, was shot dead in South Houston. Still nothing. Hinton says, this is straight from Houston Police Department Chief morning, Troy Finner. He's saying that they would uh, find my son murderer. You know, it's just going to take time. But and like I told him, it's been two years now. How much time does it take? Lakeisha Everett is in the same position. This is my father. He was brutally taken two years ago, and we have yet to get any answers, any closure. It's been two years since her father was attacked and killed in his home. It's important to me to find the people or persons who took the life of our dearly beloved Richard Graves. When we first started speaking with Lakeisha and Marnita about their cases, the clearance rate of homicides for Houston police was approximately 62%. Now, Chief Finner says his department's homicide clearance rate is at 82% when a suspect is identified and charged, like the suspect in the murder of Migos rapper Takeoff. The city announced the arrest of Patrick Clark last Friday, December 2nd. The 33 year old charged with shooting and killing the rapper at a private party in downtown Houston last month. Everybody took a role um, in this investigation. It makes me feel like, well, wh where do I stand in your place? Houston Police Officers Union President Doug Griffith says there is a distinct difference in the two cases. It has to do with the attention that the media plays. Once you get that kind of attention out there, people talk much more because they know what's going on and how important it is to the public. Tips are pivotal to solving homicides, but so are dollars in the eyes of law enforcement. They fund resources. The chief has also done a good job of trying to boost homicide division, get more people over there so we can clear these cases better. But the improvement also comes at a time when more overtime dollars have been poured into public safety by Mayor Sylvester Turner. Still, the so-called improvement is frustrating, according to Everett and Hinton. They are celebrities. And you can have press conference for them. What about when my son was murdered? Did you have a press conference for me? No. They might not be a celebrity in the world's eyes, but they are celebrities in their family's heart. Celebrity or not, HPD treats every homicide the same, says the mayor. Regardless of whether you are an individual that's um, a celebrity or you're not a celebrity at all, uh, we are going to investigate every case mm -hmm. with the greatest degree of intensity, utilizing all available resources to find who the person was or who the persons were. Richard Graves has someone that's going to continue to fight for justice for him in the life that he lived. I think it's a good thing that you're pouring resources in there, but he's wealthy. Is that why you're doing it? My son, we, we're not wealthy. You're not pouring a lot of resource into my child cases. So what's, what's with that? The police union president says he recognizes the importance for families to know they are being heard. So he is working with HPD on creating a better line of communication between investigators and those victimized by homicides. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.